And again, if you're looking for a photography man, Robert Paul, you'll see his pictures in the next coming weeks. Also, unbelievable. Level Up Live, right down there. It one is. of our, or Level Up, I apologize, one of our sponsors. <laughs> God, like, I got it, I got it. Make sure you. Oh, uh, that was crazy. Also, uh, Every our one. sponsor, Juice Gaming. Juice Gaming, of course. Dan Brennan and I, both proud members. Um, local battles provided the setups for us for the fighting game side, helped us run the event. You know, without them, I think our sink, our ship would have sunk. But you know, we were able to turn it around tight thanks to their help. Now, Izzy sparkling juice. We had oh, nowhere. All right, we had oh, 720 nowhere. Izzy's. That was 120 more than we were originally promised. I knew right off the bat that I was going to take like 20 or so home. I couldn't because they were gone Saturday morning, and I blocked them. I hid them from the community. I'm like, we got to separate these. We need to head them out every single day. They were gone in minutes. They were you know, gone in minutes. You know, that's totally okay with me because you know Izzy you know is going to love us now. Because it's godlike. Izzy is godlike. Izzy was gone because it's not an energy trick. It's not nonsense. I hate It is nonsense. juice and carbonated water. 70% fruit juice, 30% sparkling water, and nothing else. No nonsense. It's absolutely delicious. They sell them at Starbucks. They sell them at BJ's, things like that. Um, and before jokes on the stream, you guys are 11. Um, of course, eight-way run. Uh, eight-way run. I mean, this would not be possible. I'm looking at Jaxel right Jackson. now. I am looking at Jaxel too. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jaxel. He just gave us the finger. I don't even care. I love I mean, this guy. Jaxel I don't, I don't has need been, to plug you, Jaxel. He's been such a boon to this community since we hired him for the Concentrate Series. He's gone on to stream all three of our events and even Apex 2012 right here. This would not be at all possible with him without him. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Gordian that is, slip. That is a <laughs> Did he cut our mics off? <laughs> he cut your mic off. <laughs> you little troll. Oh, man, I love this guy, though. He's the best. Why do you have two badges? I have one. <laughs> Excellent. I got called dark this weekend. Prettier then, than dark. And then I got called Cactuar. Swag. Survival. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh. Nia Tono sitting down. Apparently we are sticking in singles. Yes, we are going to finish up singles losers finals before we get into grands. My Japanese is very weak. I would like to wish him good luck, but the only thing I really know how to say in exclamation in Japanese is let's Maka? eat. Oh. Gambare maste. You're a weeaboo. Weeaboo. Yeah, I know Baka and Konnichiwa. Yeah, Baka. I, I say that a lot. Sir. I pride myself on being multilingual. <laughs> All right, good luck to both of these players. What is he doing? Why did he what? allow this stage to happen against Olimar? I don't know. We saw Ally suffer a pretty brutal fate against uh, against Nezuno in uh, the wow. match early. Oh my God! That's a stock. That, that's a stock. Oh man, Nairo is oh, taking Nieto, no, is looking frustrated for the first time. See, Nairo's not only heading for the Niatono name for oh. the bracket, he's going for Shauna too. Who may or may not be Niatono's girlfriend, so I shout out to Shauna. Could be a boy, who knows? Who knows? Could even be me. It is me. Excellent. Niatono though, he's definitely not going to give up. Like we said before, the Japanese do not get phased by these things. They don't, I mean, they're not used to playing for money. It's not a worry to them, they just want to win. Now, I'm sure there's some degree of intimidation factor from Nietzsche going in, and Nairo is going to feel very confident. He took Nietzsche out very convincingly from the winner's bracket earlier today. And as, as the way things are going right now, I mean, I, I don't see much of a difference. Yeah, uh, Nairo is practically a full stock ahead. Although he's at kill percent, he's very apt at avoiding all of Mars kill moves. Oh, excellent reads. Nairo's pressure is absolutely off the hook. He just is so content with gliding at Olimar. You can't even do that. You're He's not getting supposed away with to it. do that. Yes. This is the number one rule. Don't glide at people with Metamor. Yeah. Way. Because this kind of stuff happens. Yeah. Especially, I mean, back in 2008, you know, one of the biggest members of the community, Gippy Fish, wrote an uh, wrote a very no, elaborate oh guide. It was, it was extremely Olimar. elaborate. Stand under platform. Point yellow stick, stick at bad guy. guy. <laughs> I mean, and apparently it's working. Shout out to Gimpy Fish. Oh, that's looking Gimpy like Fish. it might be a stock. Uh oh. Oh, platform. Black Waltz. 
Oh, that's it. no, that's it. That is the stock. We're not going to see Waltz come up again. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't, uh, I'll tell the story later, but it's a wonderful one. And right it now, it's Olimar. It does. And Yoshi's Island. Yet to know, previously thought of as an impenetrable wall of defense. Not looking, uh, not looking so tough right now. Ooh, bad DI, but recovers. Nairo's just gliding all over the place. Doesn't even care. Oh! Hitbox delayed by hitting just that like white man. Comes There's back to a one power stock shield. per player. Who's going to take the first round of Losers Finals? Those Pikmin doing that nice damage over time, helping Yetano recover the lead. Ooh. For those of you out, out there who play World of Warcraft, Olimar is basically a warlock. He puts dots on you, and he just makes you run around the map for no reason, and you just hate him so much and hate the player that plays him. Like, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> chance for another stock. Oh, uh, Playing the safe route, and it's probably yeah, a Yeah, very, very safe edge guard option. Oh, Not a time. Bad punish. Up smash purple oh, on his shield. What an uh, unbelievable comeback. I didn't Wait. even see the comeback actually happen. It just built up and built up and built up and it popped. The ability to make up for a stock deficit in this game is something that only the best of the best players can no, do consistently. Yeah. It is the hardest thing to do in Brawl. What any, any did technical he ban? I, I don't know. I mean, he'd be ally here. Maybe he's feeling confident. And uh, Nairo also lost to Atori here. Oh, Tori is a Meta Knight. I'm just saying. Well, Tori also probably doesn't down air on shields as falling. 65% uh, early. <gasps> that oh. almost hit. That little hop from the up B saved him. 55% down for Meta Knight. Iroh's tournament Ooh. life is on kind of life support right now. Mm. Really need to find his uh, inner Meta Knight here. Take out this Olimar, but Ooh, that impenetrable fence. You know, a lot of um, a, lo a lot of the newer players, a lot of the players who don't play the game a ton, they think like, oh, you got lucky by having that purple chicken in there. Any good Olimar will tell you, it's never random. Never. That Pikmin nope. is in that spot every single time, exactly where they want to be. Especially this one. Especially this Olimar. I don't think we've seen anyone of his caliber with organizing his Pikmin line. I feel like you're just trying to take a shot of logic. <laughs> just no, shout definitely, out to logic. definitely not. Logic is a, a fantastic player. Very, uh, all the all of my players, every top all of my player is extremely conscious. But uh, you have to know, just definitely on something else here. Nairo is not looking good right now. His brow is furrowed. Kaisal has abandoned him. I mean, Mewtwo King is up there now. I mean, he's not even coaching. Not, and Mewtwo King is also not the coach of choice for this matchup. Yes. He having lost to Rich Brown. And last Apex, having lost to the inferior Japanese Olimar uh, Brood. I, oh, yes, that's the stock. I don't, oh. know if, I don't know if inferior is the word I would ever use for Brood, but... Oh, this is one case in which it's permissible. Perhaps. Actually, <gasps> you know... Oh! I was, um, I was visiting with the Japanese um, uh, when they were staying in New York, and I said to, to Ray, and I said, Niatono Brood, and raised my hand high to low to indicate who was higher, and Niatono said, oh, Brood-san, Niatono-san, and he put them right in the middle. Rain responded by putting his hand on the floor, saying Brood-san, putting his hand in the air, saying Niatono-san. It's that serious. Apparently it is. And uh, their placements at this tournament do indicate that. No disrespect to Brood, though. Fantastic player. Second, Absolutely second amazing. Second place last year. Still a huge tournament threat. Destroyed his pools. No losses to Chibo this year. Shout out to Chibo. Uh. <laughs> oh, Nairo is getting too greedy. This I mean, match is not a good look for him right now. Greed is kind of warranted, but oh, another flip three so blue early. Pikmin in uh, in Nietzsche's lineup, and a purple as well. Really convincing two stock victory. Where is We're looking for cases. Oh, he's abandoned Nairo at the coaching position. Tell 
Everybody's going to raise their hands in support for our boy Nairo. Things are not looking good for Not at all. Not even close. Nonetheless, we're going to be kicking off with game three of Losers Finals right now. Not modified, just a stupid roll. He can, he can go back. Survival! I think Nairo's contemplating going back to Yoshi's. I mean, he did lose game one there. After a very early lead, I mean. Yeah, I but it, it was quite dominant. I I am very surprised that uh, Nairo isn't going to uh, Battlefield. Uh, yeah. no, as this I is said, Nairo's that. best stage. Not just Nairo's best stage, but also fantastic stage against a character like Olimar. Although the platforms are there, which are great uh, for Olimar to camp under, it also gives Meta Knight a plethora of juggling options that he doesn't have otherwise. Oh, man. Oh, that's it. No. Every time Meta Knight hits Olimar, it's a chance for big damage, if not a stock. A character with the best juggles in the entire game versus one of the ones with the worst landing options and recoveries. Ooh, almost went for the Risky Hedgehog. I, I did it in my head. I SD'd. <laughs> So right now, I think there's about 500 people watching this, crowded around this room, not to mention the thousands of you at the stream. Yes, absolutely. And you know, I, I really wouldn't want any two other players playing. I mean, Nia Tono I've been rooting for from the beginning, and if any player from America sh should deserve to be this far, it's, it might be Vinny. But then, then it would be Nairo. <laughs> then it would be Nairo. I would, I, uh... <laughs> I think this coaching choice is benefiting Nairo very greatly. Yes, I do too. It's, it's a much more even game now. It, it was so one-sided on, uh, on Frigate. I don't even think that the coaching is helping so much, just the support from his older brother. Yeah, it, it really, there's a family bond there to be had, uh, to be uh, noticed. Oh, he's got a chance. Olimar has no jump. Oh, yes, he does. Apparently, he landed. Oh, Nairo missing some edge guarding opportunities. Never mind, that is a stock. Only 23% in the second stock. Very Obviously capable of not a huge up. deficit. Easy to make up. I, I almost have no words for this game. It is... Oh! Almost had that. You know with the combo. riskiest of ways to land. Just blindly downers into his shield. Oh, Nezuno is approaching and pressuring Meta Knight with Olimar. Oh, goes for the trademark uh, K-Sizzle combo. No, not quite. <laughs> that neutral air, since it's multiple hits, it's going to stuff Meta Knight's side attack. Any move in the game uh, with, with standard priority will, will cancel it out. But uh, if it has multiple hits, such as Olimar's neutral air, it will stop it dead in its tracks. It will cancel the first hit and then continue hitting through. Nairo's got a shot Both here. Both players in a really bad position, and that is Nairo's second stock. You know, when I when I play or or, or spectate against all of our players, excellent read by Nairo. I always have the phrase "Brood would have whistled it." Last year at Apex, Brood whistled absolutely everything, but you know what? Brood would have not whistled that. Not like Niotono has. This is Niotono's whistle is too scary. I used to uh, amazing I used to think, read. I used to think the answer to the Olimar matchup, because it was pre Apex to, uh, 2010, was to throw the Olimar off stage and uh, lace up the Nair Jordans. Just <laughs> spam Meta Knight's neutral air, beat out the super armor on the whistle. But um, the Japanese Olimars, after Brood came to Apex, he showed us that whistle is much more potent than we thought. And Yetano is doing an even better job of the same exact thing. Oh man, Nairo's tournament life is about to be over. Bad DI. No. 101 to 17. Nairo He's got needs to one make something stock happen. left in Apex 2010 or 2012. That's and it. there it goes. 
All right, we will see a grand finals match between Nietono and Otori, but not before we see Kakera and Otori, the two brothers who play Mennonite from Japan against America's own Mewtwo King and Anti.